Hey guys, what is up? This is Private Mittens, and I'm going to be here with episode 2 of Fantasy Star. Without further ado, let us begin. Fantasy Star 2 released in 1989 for the Sega Mega Drive in Japan, and 1990 in the rest of the world for the Mega Drive and Genesis, of course. Now, as you can see, they released it worldwide again, so that's a good thing. But I'm going to talk about some of the bad stuff before I get to the good stuff. Fantasy Star 2 felt a bit rushed in a lot of areas, especially the combat arenas. Now, in the first game, the combat arenas were essentially... If you fought in a meadow, you got a meadow. If you fought in a forest, you got a forest. Background, you get the drift. Now, this one had a Tron look in any battle, any boss fight, and it was just a damn shame. People say... Some people defend it and say that it was designed around the story. I don't agree with that whatsoever. I think it was because the team that worked on this game was the original team of the first one, but they they were doing Sonic as well. So yeah. Um, another thing I don't like about this game is the dungeons. It went from the 3D first person that the first one did to a top-down traditional view that the second one, third and fourth obviously did. No, I think they should have kept it the first, like the first one did. Everyone agrees with that, but unfortunately we never would see it again. Another thing I do not like is this game is really grindy. And the like, I don't mind grinding in video games, but this takes the piss. Like, there's only one game I can think of that's worse than this. But uh, it's really bad, and the difficulty of this game is utterly unfair at some points. I mean, that's probably why you got so much grinding, but at the same time, when this game launched, it came with a mini guide for people. Remember, this is before the internet, so yeah, that gives you a rough idea how brutally hard this game was. Um, and the last thing I want to bring up for the bad things is the characters. Now, you got characters throughout the story that you could switch out of the party, something that the first one obviously didn't have because the first one was set party. Now, the characters are good in their own right, but we never learn anything about them because they only get, like, two windows of dialogue. One when you meet them, and one towards the end. Now, Japan got a text adventure to actually, you know, give a backstory of the characters, but we never physically got it. It was translated into English, but it's not the same as actually getting it on the cart, you know? But, uh, yeah. Now let's talk about the actual game's good stuff. Fantasy Star 2's graphics are phenomenal for their time. I mean, for a very early game on the Mega Drive, it puts a lot of games to shame. Hell, it even puts some Super Nintendo games to shame. Um, now, I said about the backgrounds looking, you know, Tron-like. That's true. But it made up for everything else in sprites animations, you know, all that there. The combat now, you can actually see the back of your characters when they're standing there, you know, in the line. And when you get them to attack, they'll actually have their own animation depending on what weapon you actually equip them to. Which was really, really cool to see. Now, do you remember how I said that this game's really grindy? Well, the game actually did something to help this, even though it didn't help much, but you could actually set up, essentially, a combo where if you're going to grind in a certain area just to get experience points and uh, you know money and all that there, you can actually set a combo up and like you go into battle, just press a button and the combo plays out for you. That was really innovative for the time and was welcomed, especially for how grindy it was. The music in Fantasy Star 2, holy shit, was it amazing. Now, I remember I said the first one's music was good for its time. Fantasy Star 2 still has some of the best tracks I've heard in an RPG. But would you be shocked to say, uh, to hear, sorry, that it's not the best shine track in the series? At least I don't think it is anyway. Um, the main characters are really well written and there's some really good bloody dialogue between them. But the best thing Fantasy Star 2 did over any other Fantasy Star game was the story. Holy shit. The story to this game 
is so in a, you know, innovative. I'm not going to spoil anything for you. It's set a thousand years after the first game. And that's all I'm saying. But let me put it this way. Fantasy Star 2's story would more or less help Final Fantasy 7 and Chrono Trigger with its story. Yes, Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy 7 regarded as two of the greatest RPGs ever made. Fantasy Star helped them. Now, when I say the story is a masterpiece, I mean it is a bloody masterpiece. There's two twists that you don't see coming, and when they when they come, they hit you in the feels. And that last twist, holy shit, no one saw coming. It is not only one of the greatest stories an RPG has ever had, or even game for that matter, it's one of the best written sci-fi stories I have ever read, and this is coming from someone that reads sci-fi stories. I've always read them as a kid, and for this game to do this, especially for its time, was quite incredible. Now, Fantasy Star 2 did get a few remakes over the years, but once again, just play the uh, PS3 360 version on the collections. But uh, what? So yeah, what I would recommend is playing them all in order. But you can, if you want, skip the first one and play the second one first, because the second one, even though it is set a thousand years, it doesn't really. You don't really have to play the first one, to be honest. But uh, yeah. Just play the series, more or less. But before I leave, I would, I'd like to mention one thing, you know, because there's no reviews for this game as well, or added up scores. But there's one thing that was said about this game in 1995, by none other than Nintendo Power, and that was, Fantasy Star, two and four are some of the greatest RPGs ever made. So once again, Nintendo said what they said about the series and said it's amazing but anyhow that's episode two guys stay tuned for number three hope you guys enjoyed this is private mittens take care and see you later